everyone. Dr. David Hill here with my good friend, Dr. Russell Osgothorpe. Russell, welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Would you like to take a moment, just introduce yourself, who sure. you are? My name is Dr. Osgothorpe. You can call me Dr. O. I'm a pediatric infectious disease doc, and I'm really glad to be at doTERRA. Well, we're happy to have you here. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about Capiva and CBD. I would like to put it into a context of four very specific things. And it, this is going to surprise you, but price, <laughs> purity, <shocked>. yeah, potency. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I'd also like to talk about some new discovery we're making for Pathway. Yeah. And I want to relate those all to CBD and this comparison to Capiba. And one of the things that we know about CBD is that everybody has had seemingly great experience. Mm -hmm. We know that there's a good amount of information that's available, and we don't want to be discounting of any of that. Mm -mm. So let's just talk some very specific things. When you think of those first three things, price, potency, and purity, what comes to mind to you? In the marketplace today, CBD is flooded all over the place. It's in every product imaginable, from mascara to doggy treats and everything in between. The trouble is that when people are taking it to help them with problems that they have with their health, the doses that are required are so high that the price point is really painful. Well, it becomes painful and becomes unobtainable for most people. And purity is a different animal for me. I'm going to drill down on this just a little bit. It's doTERRA's calling card. It's, our, it's what we do. It's Absolutely. what we know. And I know mm -hmm. the intensity that goes with that. And in an industry that, as you indicated, has this plethora of products, we see a lot of inconsistencies in terms of the amount that's available of the CBD. Where's some of the difference that you see there? Well, the trouble with CBD is that the hemp industry where CBD comes from is not very regulated. And the products that are made are not checked for purity. And the amount of CBD within those products can be highly variable. Because of the dissonance that exists between the federal and state statutes around CBD, right. it's not a good time for us as a company to enter that arena. Let's look at the endocannabinoid system, CB1, CB2 receptors. Do you want me to explain uh, it really quickly? Uh, very quick for okay. everybody to understand so what that is. So the endocannabinoid system in our body controls a whole host of things. Eat, sleep, forget, relax, and the receptor tone matters and you change that receptor tone by these chemicals that our body makes for ourselves. We call them endocannabinoids. In the plant world, there are lots of chemicals that plants make that interact with our own body's receptors, and they, call, they are called phytocannabinoids, and CBD is one of those. beta carotene is another, right? And that potency issue, how much power you get to that system, either upregulating or downregulating that system, depends on how you bind to those receptors. And beta caraophylline is a direct binder to the system. Correct. And CBD is an indirect binder. So this offers some explanation why we're not saying that CBD has no value. Mm -hmm. It's just a different circumstance. Correct. And the amount that we have present within those two products, by comparison, when we look at capiva uh -huh. essential oil, when we look at CBD, they're as very an different. They're very different, and we really don't compare them. And this is one of the things that I've become most excited about with capiva is that the beta carophylline, this phytocannabinoid that you talked about, that in and of itself resides in substantial amounts. There's really little question about are we getting some efficacious dosages associated with that. The potency that you can obtain by getting a purified product from Copaiba with beta carophylline is quite high. I really get excited about what we're currently discovering with Pathway. Pathway. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk about that because you've sure. already indicated that one of the differences that we see as we activate this system, and we're talking about CB2 receptors, we have indirect consequence and indirect. direct consequence. And it's the downstream effect that both of those create that we're after. So binding at the receptor level is really important. But what matters in the cell is how you get to your end result, which is changing DNA, proteins, enzymes, the cellular functions. And um, direct binding at these receptors has effects that will drive cellular mechanisms to change certain outcomes within the body. One of the other things that I have liked about Capiba as an essential oil product is the diversity that we see. It's not just phytocannabinoid that's there. Mm -hmm. It's not just the beta carotene. We have lots of other chemistry, and that provides some diversity for us. And so 
unlike the CBD, when we look at Capiva as an essential oil, we have potential for other benefits that really can even reside outside of the endocannabinoid well, system. Well, when we, when we talk about Copaiba, we're not just talking about beta carotophylline I agree. Correct. There are many molecules within the essential oil, many of which have plant chemistry behind them where we know that there are going to be other effects than just simply the endocannabinoid system. Beta carotophylline, however, being a major component of it. And that's one of the things that we love about it is that we're confident we have potency. Mm -hmm. We know that we have purity and we know that it's directed to the endocannabinoid system. I've seen a bottle of CBD uh, sometimes sell for hundreds of dollars. Sure. And the amount that I would have to consume based on the discussion that we've had is exponentially higher than what we would see with something like Capiva that has higher chemistry, uh, certainly not hundreds of dollars a bottle. And we've also know and have looked at the research and know that by comparison, we can have very small dosage amounts and still create the benefit and the effect that we're looking for. That to me is one of the critical things. I get greater benefit from the Copaiba. And higher value. I get greater efficacy and I have much higher value. I come back to as well those four Ps. I think it's the, the foundation of what doTERRA does. Um, purity and price are extremely important when you're talking about a product like this and I think that Copaiba will um, define itself in the marketplace quite nicely over time.